We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just, I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Huh. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? What is it? Shotgun shells. shells? How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. I knew there was one. No, I, I was actually going to go there first. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
Hope it holds. What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a, a way for us to defend time. ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. through her in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to use it. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> Stop it. Do you smell that? No. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. He talks so much like, like a um, dull stoner in this. Yeah. Okay. How about we go over here? How about we go over there? What do you want to eat? I want chips. Huh. What's that? Pray for on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Wait, what? Why is that changing color like that? your step. Yep. Oh, God. 
great. Well, he's chained up, so. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Oh, great. Why chain him if he's. Like it was water, wood splashed up like it was water. chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed doesn't matter there's still time we can still come out on top past is the past let's just <clears throat> look to the future shall we death death takes many forms it could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. <laughs> the sun. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Hierophant, where did you find this? Where did you find it? Uh, he shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what it did to us. Okay. No. What have they done? What have they done? Oh, 
Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 The hell? Oh, they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon, they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. Little silence. My little white. Wolf, you must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? Remember how much I've done for you? Okay. It pisses me off that I got killed. Like, I was able to keep everybody alive and then... I come back and play the game months later and I messed up like that. The table, help me. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. And they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Come on.
not okay. Better. Going too slow, buddy. to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right. Has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Maybe I should keep looking. enough on our plates already. Stop discovering shit. Poor Ian. 
some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Mm, hindsight, sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? You hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. for something yeah uh, in Chris's surveillance room he's storing all the footage I think you might be right I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. We could use it. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah. Uh, R.I.P. microphone. <laughs> What is it? A ring with the crest on it. Ah, oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Okay.
Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That beats for life, we're proud to say. Shout it straight and shout it loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? <laughs> Showtime, motherfuckers. <laughs> this dude's still in his drawers. Fuck this whole night. I wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. Stop surfing! <gasps> Might as well get running. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but it's song already. Hold the breath, right? I'm just telling everybody. It's safer in here and it's nearly morning. I was doing so good when I started the game. What the? As soon as I come back. That's why you should finish the game and not <laughs> finish the game, man. Don't don't come back months later to finish it. Jeez. Shells. If we 
can time it right, we can give them to her if she passes. If she passes. Beam. Um. They ain't gonna come out the come out of the window. What it didn't see you? Like, come on. Okay. Let's do that. Oh my god, you should have closed the window. Things too. Caitlin, you don't have time for that. Come on. Yes, you do. It's silver. Hey, I'm here. That's why I fucked up with the first one, man. It's like I totally forgot the controls for, you know, shooting. Shoot again, shit. Okay, good. Fuck you. I got you, motherfucker. Hope the other one don't jump on you. We got a pan. <laughs> well, it's cast iron. It'll, cast iron's heavy. You could bust somebody's shit with that. Uh-oh. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Letitia! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> okay. The <laughs> is broken. Whatever the cost, whatever darkness from the night still remains, the future, at least, is now a little brighter. What happened to this family they brought upon themselves, and you shouldn't pity them. I knew I could rely on you. I knew that if orchestrated properly, the events of Hackett's quarry would unfold just the way I wanted them to. And now, well, I suppose, I suppose it's goodbye. Don't worry. I'll never forget how you helped me. It's probably the happy song.
Uh, <laughs> See, man, I could have saved everybody, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I could have saved him, man. <laughs> if I'd have kept playing, I would have saved everybody, man. Damn! It pisses me off! Because until dawn, I got people killed. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, is the way I could have saved her? Is there? <laughs> well, maybe I wouldn't have. Maybe everybody wouldn't have been alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. <laughs> no. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible really to insure bad. those things which mean the most <laughs> really to you. Bad, a hat. <laughs> yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Uh, anyway, blow your mind is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some. Thank you very much, Tomas. Appreciate and that. I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. Tomas is in remission, y'all. Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? Congratulations, Grace, man. God bless you. Sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So, today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! 
anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really... Really? There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. No. I, like I was just thinking the same thing. Of course I like I was my like, door. uh. What are you hiding? This is kind of irritating. Hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk. Okay, cool. Through my walls, Anton. So, okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. Thank I would very think much, that Thomas, maybe they again. went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root. Um, being jostled. Uh, in uneven, uh row of cobblestones what about being murdered if you dropped your phone you wouldn't go missing where are they now i don't know people get lost in the woods all the time there's like hundreds of people a year they could be anywhere that's not all no mm -mm. i'm about to lay a little something else on you my sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp at really the summer camp okay, well then Shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed Yeah, it. Furious yeah, TV, I played everything on the gaming channel. On it just like the man and I decided to uh, start playing on this one. Right. So all the other parts are on there. Apparently, when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers uh -huh. closed the mine down okay so then they only had the land to live off yes you say only but this land actually spans acres that's a lot of forest a lot of unexplored darkness Ooh, okay a great place to hide to have all these dark secrets for this strange reclusive family mm -hmm. and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory okay here acres we go acres and acres of haunted woods if you say so Okay, I guess this is it then. Welcome Finally. To Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I, I guess this Welcome is Welcome back it. to Bizarre Yet okay. Bonafide. Well, Anton, wait, what? Today I'm actually going to pass you some light <laughs> Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm hmm. 
All right. I feel um, like I'm a you know I'm a completionist to a point. I feel like I have to finish it. Allegedly. <sighs> All right. Uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right. I can but read I, I this. feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right. Okay. Here we go. Gammy. How long we gonna drag this shit out? I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh God, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not <gasps> doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now to me, empty implies that it was once full. Samesies. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, well, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? <laughs> a a skinny bears. bear. Oh, you have polar bears? It's Far hard to from me. Food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <laughs> Don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Actually, <laughs> you might be a little freaked out at this. Ugh. Is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait. Is it? 
Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow, you're right. That is underwhelming. But I'm kind of interested because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate prank. True. But if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point, I guess. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you your... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have okay. not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Is that it now? Alright y'all, <laughs> you got to see the ending, now I gotta figure out what game, oh yeah, well, I'm supposed to go back to Cuphead, so, <laughs> I might jump on Cuphead tonight and finish the deals, <laughs> try to finish the deals, <laughs> we shall see, 10 million subscribers, <laughs> woo! <laughs>